everyone. I just finished my workout and so I thought I would show you what I like to do to flush out my muscles, get stretched out, relaxed, and so I can move on with the rest of my day and feel really, really good. So um, we're gonna start with some sun salutations. We'll go through that really slowly at first. Y'all should be really practiced at it now. So after a couple of times, um, or after the first time, we'll go a little bit quicker. And then we're gonna do Eagle, which some of you have already done too. It's a re good, really good way to squeeze out all the tension, <sighs> get your muscles to relax. We'll stretch out onto the ground and get you on with your day. So let's come up to the top of your mat. Nice, long, big, deep breaths. Feeling nice and strong here. Dropping our shoulders down, pressing down with your feet. Nice, strong feet. Inhale your arms up. Inhale. Let's exhale for a back bend. Inhale straight up. Exhale forward fold. Let's grab onto your elbows. Feel nice and heavy. Tuck your chin. Feel the long stretch in those hamstrings and your lower back. Let's take a half lift, pull in through your belly. Take your hands down, gently stepping back with your right foot, then your left into your plank. Feeling nice and strong here, pressing back with your heels, shoulders are over your wrists. Maybe for this first one, we come down to our knees. We're gonna keep our shoulders over our wrists, our elbows are gonna tuck into our ribs. And we're going to come down, press down with your index and in your thumb. That should help your wrists a little bit. Exhale. Inhale, flatten your feet. Come on up, up dog. Tuck your toes, pull in through your core, press back with your heels, down dog. Take some nice, long, big, deep breaths. Walk out your dog. Shake your head left and right, up and down, stretch out your spine. And let's look through your hands. Walk or step your feet to your hands for that forward fold. And again, let's just stay here just for a moment. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's do one full one at regular speed. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flatten and gaze. Exhale, left foot goes back. Come down to your plank. Knees are straight up. Exhale, down, uh, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Tuck your chin, look through your legs. Press down with the, um, with the palms of your hands. Looking through your hands, left leg comes forward, then your right. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Hands to your heart. If you want to do one more, go ahead and do that. We're going to go move on here, um, but you're welcome to do one more sun salutation if you feel like your arms kind of need that extra flush. So let's inhale your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna walk back to a down dog, or again, you can go through a flow. Take your legs back to a down dog. And then drop your knees down into a tabletop. Let's go into our cat cow. We're gonna round your back, tuck your chin, exhale. Inhale, chin up to the sky. Pressing your belly down, pressing your chest up. Exhale, round your back, feel the stretch in your, in your shoulder blades. Inhale, stretch your chin up to the sky, feel the stretch in your belly, and come back to neutral. Let's take that right arm up and stretch. Exhale, through that left arm, reach that left arm out, and we're stretching out that outer shoulder. Remembering always taking those nice long deep breaths. Coming back on up. Let's do the other side. Reset. Left arm goes up. Stretch through your chest. 
and then thread it underneath that right arm. Stretch the right arm out. Relaxing here, feeling the stretch through the back of the shoulder. All right, come on up. We're gonna go into a crooked pigeon. So we're gonna stretch out these, our, stretch out our hips and the sides of our hips. So let's take that right leg back behind us. We're gonna cross it over that left leg. And now we're gonna slide down. So regular pigeon, we have this foot up here and we're sliding down. We're keeping this leg, the, the knee down. Right leg goes back, crosses over to the left. And then we're gonna slide down this way. This should feel nice and good after a workout, stretching out your hips and your back. Again, start to cool yourself down. Nice, long, big, deep breaths. Using um, your block or anything like that for your forehead if you can't come all the way down to the ground. Let's take one more deep breath. Come on up, come back up to tabletop, resetting. Let's take that left leg back behind us, crossing over to the right, and then we slide down, feeling that stretch on this side right here. Nice, long, big, deep breaths. One more deep breath. And come back up. Hi, Olive. Come back up. And we're going to cross, um, we're going to go into what we call cow face. So that, let's take the, the right foot under this left leg. And we're going to see if we can cross knee on top of knee. So we're going to still get that stretch that we were getting in that crooked pigeon. We're still going to get that stretch right here. So you may be here. And let me grab my block. So if your hips aren't very flexible and you're sitting up here, we're trying to cool down and stretch out. So bring that block or a pillow or something to kind of sit underneath that hip just a little bit. All right, underneath that leg. So I'm gonna show you, bring right here. And we're gonna go into eagle arms and really stretch out the sides of our shoulders. So we're gonna open up nice and for a nice big deep breath. Then we're gonna take that right arm underneath the left. Then we're gonna cross out our elbows and see if we can reach um, our, the palms of our hands. So we're gonna see if we can center our elbows and our hands right towards our nose right here. So right here should feel like a good stretch. If you're unable to get your hands to cross right here, we're gonna see if you can reach as far as you can to your back right here. And just keep inching your arms all the way to your back if you can't get into those eagle arms right here. Or if it hurts, if it hurts, get out of that pose and just kind of reach for your back right here and we'll see and, and you can get the stretch that you need. So if you're here or here, we're now we're gonna lift up our elbows. We're gonna lift up our elbows just a little bit. Inhale and exhale, we're gonna see if we can forward fold. So again, you're here and you're forward folding. Let's take one more deep breath. All right, come on out. And we're just gonna switch sides. So we're gonna take the left leg under, the right leg goes across. Again, right and left, a lot of times, one side is more flexible than the other, or one side is tighter than the other. So use your block underneath that knee if you need to, or a pillow underneath that knee if you need to. We're gonna see the final poses to get those knees 
together and both hips are down to the ground. So this time we're gonna open up. Now the left arm comes underneath the right. We're gonna see if we can cross over into our eagle arms here or you're reaching again and just kind of crawl on your fingers back to your, um, your shoulder blades back there. We're gonna see if we can get our elbows and our hands in line with our nose. And we're staying here just for a moment. Let's take an inhale up, elbows up, and then let's reach over your knees for a forward fold. Keep inching those hips down. My hips came up just a little bit on this side. Let's take two more deep breaths. And then let's come on up and unwind. And then we're going to go in back into our down dog. So down dog, find your way back there. Fingers are spread out nice and wide. Hips are way up to the sky. We're pressing our chest and our belly towards our knees. Feel as though you're pulling and you're hugging in your elbows together. That'll help take a little bit of the pressure off of your wrists. And then let's look at your hands and let's bring that right foot in between your hands and we're in a runner's lunge. And let's press back nice and strong with this left leg. Press down with the heel on the right, nice and strong right leg. We're gonna come up into crescent. Inhale, exhale. We're just sitting down, relaxing your shoulders down, pulling in through your belly still, but we're stretching. We're stretching out this hamstring and this hip flexor on the left side. So now we're going to come up and I'm going to, I'll be facing backwards to you and then I'm going to switch. So what I just want you to do is take your toes. Now we're in this wide leg star stretch, but I'm going to turn around so you can see me. So we're in this wide leg star stretch and we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale. Come on down, tuck your chin. Maybe your hands go to a block if you can't reach the ground. And we're just gonna see if you can inch your hands over to that left side. If you're flexible enough and you can reach this left leg, I want you to grab onto it. Grab onto that left leg and stretch down, maybe tuck your chin down towards that left shoulder. And come on back to center and then let's do the other side. Walk your hands over to the right. Staying right here, if you can find your right leg, grab onto that right leg, and then we're gonna come on down and see if you can stretch, tuck your chin down to that right shoulder. Come on back to center, halfway up, hands on your hips, using your core, come all the way up. And then we're going to go um, into a runner's lunge. So we would be right here. Sorry. If you're just going to turn to the top of your mat, we're in a runner's lunge. We're going to bring um, our hands down and go into a down dog so we can do the other side. Left leg comes forward, runner's lunge. Come on up for crescent. Pressing down with that right foot. Nice and strong, press back with that left heel, shoulders are relaxed down, pulling in through your belly. Feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. Come on up, we're going to turn our toes to star pose to the center. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. This time I want you to take your fingertips and start walking them back, tucking that chin down. more deep breaths. Walk yourself back up halfway. 
Bend your knees, hands on your hips, using your core. Come all the way up. Turn to a runner's lunge. Stretch. Bring that right foot up to your left. Forward fold. Press back onto your heels. Sit back in the chair. Sit back down, pulling through your belly. Inhale, exhale, mountain pose. So we're gonna prep and we're gonna stretch out, keep stretching out our legs, but we're gonna go into eagle pose. So let's press down with that left foot and we're gonna balance, finding your focus, pulling in through your belly. We're gonna find that focus. Let's stretch out our hamstring first. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulder blades are, are uh, just melt down to the back. If you're doing a good job fo uh, focusing here and balancing here, we're going to cradle that foot. So taking your, your foot into that left hand, lifting up with the right on the back of the knee. And come on down. Let's reset. Mountain pose. Let's lift up that left knee, find your focus, press down, don't grip the mat with your toes, toes are nice and light. Grabbing onto the foot with your right hand, cradling with your left, feeling the stretch in the left hip. And then let's drop that leg down. Let's inhale, we're gonna forward fold just to reset. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, mountain pose. So let's go into eagle. So eagle, we're gonna press that foot. I'll turn this way for you guys. Press that foot down into the ground, the left foot into the ground. We're gonna bring that right knee up into a uh, indoor chest or into that cradle. Bending into the left knee, we're gonna place that right foot on top of the left leg. Staying right here, here's number one. Here's number one modification, and we're gonna stay right there. If you wanna move on, we're gonna cross that leg over this way. So now we're here, that's two. Three, we're gonna see if we can wrap that foot all the way around the right ankle. So we're gonna come here, and now I have my eagle legs. Re arms come out again. Eagle arms wrapping the left over the right. I'm gonna see if I can get my elbows and my knees in line. Here's number one in eagle pose. We're staying right here, breathing and focusing. We can lift those arms up for an inhale. Exhale, the final pose is knees, uh, elbows to knees. We're gonna inhale, open up. If you feel a little dizzy after that pose, we're gonna forward fold. Exhaling. Feeling that new rush of blood all the way through your legs and your arms. Inhale, rise. Exhale, mountain pose, hands down to your side. Let's do the other side. So let's press that right foot down into the ground. Lifting your left knee up right here. Maybe cradling that leg if you're feeling that balance. Bending into the right knee. We're going to place that left foot, left ankle on top of the right leg. There's one. Staying right here. If you want to add on, we're going to cross that leg over. That's two. A little bit more final pose. We're going to take that leg all the way around and wrap. Woo. Arms come out. This time left arm goes under the right. Wrapping. Inhaling elbows up. Maybe bring your elbows down to your knees for that final eagle pose.
Inhale, open up. Exhale, forward fold it. Feel dizzy. Inhale, come on up and let's come down to the ground. Let's go ahead and stretch out our hips a little bit. So if you've been practicing your yogi squat, toes go out just a little bit. Hands to your heart, down by your side. We're sitting back down onto your heels, pull, pulling in through your belly. We're coming all the way down and stretching through that inner thigh, um, our back of our hips. <clears throat> Starting to cool down even more. Feeling your muscles start to relax a little bit. And then let's come all the way down. Let's go ahead, let's keep stretching that inner thigh. So let's bring our um, soles of your feet together into that bottom kanasana. I like to interlace my hands down. It helps me sit up nice and straight, but I also feel like I get a little extra stretch. One more deep breath. Let's go into your relaxed forward fold in this Baddha Konasana. So we can stretch out my more relaxed poses where my feet are like a diamond and then I'm forward folding forehead to my toes. Let's leave the left leg where it's at, right leg goes out for a long stretch. Toes are gonna stay up to the sky. I'm gonna keep this right leg nice and straight, locked out through my knee. I'm turning my shoulders towards my right toes. I'm gonna first stretch with my right hand first and see how far I can get, and then I come down. Always welcome, always have a strap or a towel or something by you, but we're still gonna see if we can stretch with that right arm first, and then I'm going to pull myself down. Let's go for two more breaths. All right, come on up. Let's stretch out our side. So stay in this pose, and again, you're going to find your comfortable pose. So can have our hand on the inside, you can reach down, you can grab onto your uh, index and middle finger, grab onto your big toes, whatever feels like you're getting the best stretch and the best stretch to your side. We're going to see instead of forward folding, we're going to stay up nice and tall. So we're bringing our hand over our ear and we're staying up nice and tall. And as you exhale, maybe you start to come down a little bit further without compromising that stretch, this long stretch through here. And come on up. Let's do the other side. Let's bring that right heel in, left leg goes out. Keep your toes up to the sky, and we are locking out that left leg turning your shoulders towards your left toes, reaching first and foremost with the right hand over to the left side, maybe using your strap to come down and forward fold, tucking your chin. Come on up and let's go for that side stretch. So again, one side might be different than the other. So you need to pay attention to where you're getting the very best stretch. Yoga's not, we're not in a competition when we do yoga. So we need to just really, really focus and pay attention to what feels best for our body. So left hand can go down to your left ankle, your left calf. We're gonna take this right arm over our ear, stretching towards those left toes. Maybe with every exhale, you start to get a little bit further down, but we're always opening up, feeling that long stretch on the right side. Now 
All right, come on up. And let's go on to our back for some final poses. We're gonna take our knees up to the sky, toes, uh, feet are gonna be on the ground. We're gonna go into a little bit of that variation of that figure four or the eagle stretch. So we're gonna take the right ankle on top of the left thigh. And we can go ahead and when we go to the side, we're gonna go over to that right side. If you wanna try eagle legs with that stretch, we're gonna take them all the way around like we did when we were standing. And then, then we're gonna come over. So either the figure four or full eagle and then our arms come out. For three, two, and one. Come on up and let's unwind and maybe just kind of reset yourself just a little bit. and take some nice long, 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 big, deep breaths. And bring your knees back up and then over to the left. What would yoga be without a dog bothering us? Helping us, not bothering us, helping us. All right, let's come back up. Let's go into a long, long, long stretch. Inhale your, your arms and toes in the opposite directions. Inhale. And let's go ahead and go for a short little Shavasana here. I like to do that and make sure that not even just in my yoga practice, but also when I'm doing a regular workout, that I like to just kind of take that time to be grateful for um, myself, that I took that time to uh, take care of my body and take care of me. And then also to feel that gratitude in my body that I feel nice and strong, relaxed, healthy. Um, and then I'm taking some nice long, big deep breaths and getting myself um, ready for the rest of the day. So let's go ahead and close your eyes and let's feel those muscles relaxed now. So I'm relaxing my shoulders down my breath is nice and long to where my lower back can start to melt down into the ground. My legs are relaxed. My, my knees are open. My legs are open. My feet are open. And my, my palms are facing up to the sky. I'm going to make sure that my jaw is nice and relaxed and that I'm not holding any tension, keeping the tongue off of the roof of my mouth. Taking nice, long, big, deep breaths, letting it all go. I'm going to let you guys take some nice, big, deep breaths and relaxed breaths. Paying attention to your body right now, giving it some gratitude. I'm going to let you do that just for a few seconds here.
Let's maybe take a couple more deep breaths. And then gently bring one knee in and then the other. And for this one, I'm going to have us rock up and back. So we're going to take, make sure you're on a nice surface that's not going to hurt your spine. We're going to take some rolls up and down. Maybe let's do one more. And we're coming up into our easy pose. Palms are facing up. And let's inhale your arms up. Stretch up to the sky. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale. Stretch and hold. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. You guys are doing awesome. Namaste.